actually finally have a, a real heavy, heavy, heavy metal band. So you crackers should be happy. All you people do is you come on the boards and you bitch and you whine. And I try to tell you that it's not my fault and still you bitch and whine. And you know, for being metalheads, you really shouldn't bitch and whine so much, you know? Hello. I'm chilling with one of the heavier, heavier, heavier bands going on today, December. So, what's up guys? Introduce yourself for us. Julian, guitar. And Jason, tell us on drums. Mark, vocal guy. Ace of bass. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, so, I heard you guys are from the bottom. Nevada. I'm sorry, Nevada. And, like, is there much of a metal scene over there? What's the deal? No? No. It's pretty, pretty small. It's not really a metal town. Um, don't cream your pants or anything, but when I interviewed Danzig, he actually mentioned you guys as one of the only new bands that's keeping really? it real. I think that's the best thing I've heard. That's huge. Yeah. That's cool. yeah. We saw Dan came through Reno last time. Yeah. He rocked like yeah. a Love that guy. Evil I Elvis. Exactly. I met him. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Keep ass. Thanks, Glenn. Yeah. Wherever you are. <laughs> You guys are such morbid guys. You guys are very, very friendly. I'm That's like, not, not about being morbid at all, really. <laughs> you're all heavy. Your lyrics say, like, the worst isn't over. If you're not guilty, you will be. Serenity will not be found. What's, like, what's influencing these lyrics? And what's... Did I? Is it me? Yes. Damn it. If people get something out of my words, that's cool. It's just kind of thoughts that are going through my head at the time. And I'll jot them. But, I mean, it's very, like, poetic and yeah, stuff, it's, so... It's definitely poetry. You know, it's so true. you're just telling me you sit down and randomly come up with all this, like, depressed... <laughs> Yeah, like kind of stream of consciousness stuff. So, so you don't believe that everybody's life is going to end with failure? And, no, and not necessarily. I mean, it could. It's really up to you, isn't it? So what's the deal with the lyrics, man? <laughs> what do you mean limbo here? I'm like, oh. It's, it's just kind of things that I think about, I guess. They're sort of misanthropic, but at the same time, I like to think they're kind of hopeful. Shut Watch up. Yourself. Sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> December kind of gives me thoughts of like, you know, the holiday season and so-called happiness, whatever. Like, you know, and you, if, if anything, your your lyrics and your voice does not bring thoughts of happiness, more of like pain. <laughs> Why the name December? Um, it depends on what, do you want the, the real answer or do you want the clever, I've been thinking about this for a while, need a better answer answer? I want the real one first and then the clever one. The real answer is because I was, I am a really big fan of this band called Only Living Witness. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last song on their first record album, whatever, is called December. So what's the witty remark? The witty remark is that December kind of is a good way of being symbolic of a lot of different things without saying anything specific. And December is, there's the holiday thing, but at right. the same time a lot of people are really depressed and down at right, that right, time. Right. Plus it's like the end of something, but at the same time that also means it's sort of the beginning of something else. So. That's and you get deep, baby. That's good. You know what, you stick with years. that room yeah. I like that one. That was good. That was deep. It seems like that the whole metal thing, like real heavy metal, is really, like, not dying out, but not getting the light. Do you think that, you know, it's, it's always going to be there, and, or do you think it's going to kind of just linger underground, like, honestly? It's probably going to be both. I mean, um, I think that there's always been a pretty true underground thing going and that's where usually most of the really good bands are and some of them break out and some of them don't but then as far as like bands that are in the mainstream quote unquote or whatever I mean that's always going to happen too I mean there's trends come trends go styles change but there's always going to be something that's happening under the surface and that's usually where most of the honest music comes from guys you rock I love your record thank you for the interview and I wish you the Thank you. Those guys were awesome. The only weird thing I have to say is like, his lyrics are so dark and then it's like, oh, just come to me when I write it and I'm like, you're not telling me something. But anyway, these guys rock and I know you are gonna love this Rock and roll! Come on people, you gotta move. Yeah!